there's anger today that hundreds of hospital beds are empty while coronavirus patients are dying in overcrowded hospitals. New Yorkers cheered when the U.S. Navy ship the Comfort docked behind me here arrived with 1,000 beds and 1,200 highly trained medical personnel. As you can see, they've actually hung up coverings over the fencing there to stop people from congregating and taking pictures. But so far, it's been cold comfort. The ship is empty for the most part. There's only about 20 patients or so on board receiving treatment, and that is infuriating lots of people. There's a similar situation in Los Angeles, where the hospital ship Mercy had only 15 patients on board today, all due to bureaucratic red tape. The situation is being called a joke and ridiculous. The New York Times quotes health officials. <laughs> Guam, the commander of the nuclear-powered aircraft carrier Theodore Roosevelt, makes a lonely last walk down the gangway to the cheers of sailors who chanted his name. Captain Crozier was fired after raising concerns about a COVID-19 outbreak on his ship. Wrongfully relieved of command, but did right by the sailors, wrote the sailor who uploaded the video. A second CNN anchor has tested positive for coronavirus. Brooke Baldwin tweeted, it came on suddenly yesterday afternoon. Chills, aches, fever, she posted. She said she has mild symptoms. I'm one of the lucky ones. And there's an about face today about wearing masks. After weeks of advising Americans only to wear masks if they have symptoms, health officials say everyone should cover their faces outside. The mayors of New York and Los Angeles are now asking their residents to wear masks, scarves, anything they have to cover their faces. Even some network news reporters are wearing masks on the air. But look at this crowded New York subway car. Passengers crushed together. No social distancing possible. I got on the D train, all the seats were taken and there were people standing up. At this nurses protest outside a New York hospital today, people are crowded together despite the obvious danger. This virus is everywhere. It's on every surface. If you touch a counter, if you touch a doorknob, if you open a drawer. At this church in Sacramento, California, more than 70 worshipers and three pastors have contracted coronavirus. And look, an ecstatic Oprah is reunited with longtime companion Stedman Graham after he spent 14 days in self-isolation. <laughs>